Welcome to Shift by Bacardi. Good morning. Hey everyone, it's Hannah from Reposado Bar signing into my morning shift. I just want to give a shout out to Bacardi for setting me up with the resources to share my life with you at home as a bartender during this crazy time. Oh, this is Pumpernickel, my cat. Good morning, good sir. So we're gonna be doing a fun video today called Cocktail Preppers, but rather than me just showing you how to make a cocktail, I'm gonna show you how I set up for my day. And while I'm in the kitchen, I check on all my plants here, um, give them a little spritz if they need it. I have this going right now, so a fun little project that we're starting for the summer so that as soon as the weather is a bit nicer, I can transplant them directly outdoors. So I like to finish my morning by catching up on some news um, and usually do like an hour of some sort of physical activity or a Zoom or online class to kind of round out my morning. And everything's all ready to go. The class has already started, so I'm just gonna do this. Get my ball here. So I just wanted to walk through with you guys how to make a really simple cocktail ingredient and it's something that we're going to be using in our cocktail later on. It's called oleosaccharum and it's essentially just sugar and oil. So if you have any sort of spent citrus, save juice something or use it in cooking, save all the zest. So I have grapefruit zest in here and all you're going to do is add sugar to it and it's that simple. So I'm adding sugar to the bag. Massaging it around a bit so I know all the zests are coated. And over time what that will do is that the sugar will draw out the oil from the zest and all the aromatics and flavors from it. And what you're gonna be left with over time is a liquid like this. So it's a bit more viscous, um, a syrupy kind of texture and you'll get all the intense aromas and nice flavors from the citrus zest and this is kind of what the spent peels look like afterward and another fun thing you can do with these rather than just throw them out is you can also bake these in the oven for some candied peels so yeah it's really that simple so for today's cocktail I decided to make something to match the beautiful weather we're having here in Toronto today it's a simple twist on a Tom Collins. So if you love gin, you're in luck. So I have all my ingredients gathered here today. So I'm just gonna go through them really quickly. We have freshly squeezed lemon juice, soda water, the lemon and lime oleosaccharum that I made earlier. If you don't have that, you can just use sugar or simple syrup. This will just give it a bit of an extra punchy citrus kick. Um, I also have Martini Bianco and Bombay Sapphire Gin. I've already put the ice in my glass so we can just start building in there. So 0.5 ounces of lemon juice. I'm going to do 0.25 ounces of the oleosaccharum. It's pretty intense so I find that I don't really need much. Do 0.75 ounces of the Martini Bianco. and one ounce of the Bombay Sapphire Gin. I'm just gonna to top that up with soda water and give it a good stir to make sure everything's mixed and nice and cold. And I'm just gonna garnish with some lemon zest and make sure these oils are nicely expressed over your glass so you can smell it each time you take a sip. And that's your cocktail there. So that's typically how I spend a morning or afternoon during this time. I hope you guys enjoyed following along and it inspired you to be a bit creative while you're at home. Thanks again to Bacardi for having me and check in next time to see who's signing in on shift.
bye